video, we are going to discuss about moralistic and naturalistic fallacies. In a way, they oppose each other. In the case of the moralistic fallacy, you believe that because things should or shouldn't be in a particular way, then they are not. In the case of the naturalistic fallacies, such as the appeal to nature, it is the other way round. Because things are the way they are, because they are natural, in a sense, then they must be good. So let's start with the moralistic fallacy. You can model it as follows. If X were true, then it would happen Z, where Z is a morally, socially or politically undesirable thing. And people often imply afterwards that since Z is undesirable, then X is not true. Let me give you a couple of examples. Eating meat is bad for both animals' well-being, obviously, and for the environment. Therefore, we have no physiological need for it. That is the kind of fallacy that people who feed their dogs and cats only with vegetables commit. One can easily imagine, imagine a way of using data to support such fallacy. And we can use the question of diet, like pets' diet, for that. Let's compare the environmental impact of two diets for pets in terms of, let's say, greenhouse gases emissions. Vegan diet versus carnivorous diet. And the data show that the vegan diet is environmentally much more friendly. Well, obviously. And the fallacy would consist in saying, based on such, such data, that cats can be fed with a vegan and should be fed uh, can be fed with a vegan diet because um, I don't know because it, it's not bad for them. No, it's it's not at all like that. You should not make the confusion between what should, things should or should not be and what things are. Is the ought is barrier. Yes, we know that you are sponsoring animal suffering when you are buying meat cans for your pets and increasing climate change. But nonetheless, your pets need proteins from meat. And sorry about that. Sometimes basic scientific findings or interpretations are rejected or their discovery or development or acknowledgement is opposed or restricted for years, decades, centuries because of moralistic fallacies. You all know about Copernic's heliocentric model Earth revolves around the Sun, not the other way around. Well, at the time, there was a huge fight among competing models. Tycho Brahe, for instance, clinged to his deo heliocentric model because the heliocentric model was contradicting the Ptolemaic system that had been in use for ages. The naturalistic fallacy, on the other hand, represents the opposite of the moralistic fallacy, as we said earlier. Since it is found in nature, then it is good. A very famous example is social Darwinism. That states that since in wildlife, individuals and species compete against each other, it is normal that it should be the case in society too. However, in daily life, you will more likely hear appeals to nature in the field of alternative medicine. It is the type of fallacy that people use when they explain to you that homeopathy, plant remedies, essential oils are good for you because they are natural. Well, so is arsenic. I would not recommend it for breakfast, though. The question of the diet is also quite common, a common application of the naturalistic fallacy. And this time, not vegans. Here is how it goes. As humans, we have been eating meat since the dawn of times, and it was, in various instances, our primary source of proteins. So I see no reason whatsoever to decrease our average meat consumptions now. Well, in the dawn of times, there were not as many humans as today, were there? So the impact on ecosystems was a little bit smaller. You get the idea. In both the moralistic and the naturalistic fallacies, you pass what we call the is-ought barrier.
there's a confusion between what is and what should or should not be. Ought represents what should be. And in the moralistic fallacy, the premise is the ought. Things ought to be that way. Therefore, they are that way. The conclusion represents the is. In the naturalistic fallacy, it's the other way around. Things are that way, like cavemen used to eat meat. Therefore, and then come the ought. Therefore, we ought to keep eating meat. Keep this ought is barrier in mind. It will prevent you from making easily avoidable fallacies. Keep the ought is barrier in mind. It will keep you from making easily avoidable fallacies.